It's been one of the most aggravating and expensive trends in banking, those heavy overdraft fees imposed by the banks when you go over the limit on your debit or your ATM card. Well, starting tomorrow, it all changes as new federal rules take effect. And here to walk us through it is Nicole Eppin, the anchor of CNBC's Worldwide Exchange. Nicole, good morning. Good morning to you. All right, so under these new rules, banks can no longer charge that heavy overdraft fee on debit card transactions unless you opt in. Explain what that means. So basically, the gone are the days of those $40 lattes when you don't have the money to pay for it. Uh, so now we are going to have to opt into that. As you were mentioning, this is something that President Obama signed last year, slowly starting to trickle in, uh, especially this month. So we're going to see banks starting to send you letters. I don't know if you've received one already, where they're asking you to find another option. So get that money from your savings account or get that money from another credit card. It's no longer going to be automatic. So if you don't have that, you just won't be able to buy yeah, you can't buy that latte. latte. Look, it's right. going to be embarrassing in line for Starbucks, uh, right. but no dice. It's not going to hurt you later. All right, because that, that latte could cost you $40 Absolutely. in previous times. All right, last year's Credit Card Act, which you just referenced, signed by President Obama, as you mentioned, now coming into effect. Um, these new rules, though, a lot of talk about it. Are, is it going to change things truly for the consumer, or are they just going to find other ways to charge you fees? Well, that's the thing. We are going to see, uh, you know, some of those bank fees lessen a little bit. There have been times we all get these overdue bills with a big fat red stamp that says overdue. Now, that overdue stamp is going to cost us a little bit less. There were times where it would go up to $40. Now that's capped at $25. But if your minimum payment is less than $25, so let's say your minimum payment is $25, $20. Mm -hmm. It's not going to exceed $20 after all. And also there's a provision uh, where if uh, your interest rate went up, let's say uh, because you did have late payments, right. the bank has to look at it again within six months. And if you've been on top of your payments, they actually have to lower it back okay, to the Okay, that's all really rate. good news. There's also some good news if you get some of those gift cards, because we've all had that experience where you get something for Christmas. By the time you end up using it, some of the value has already decreased, diminished, and it almost becomes meaningless. I know, you get all of these birthday cards, you <laughs> shove them in the drawer, and then you say a couple of years later, oh, I have a Macy's card, I go and find my favorite sweater and by the time you no get there. Left. No dice, <laughs> right. Um, well, now it's going to extend the expiry to five years, so you have five years to get your act together and get to the Macy's store. Also, the dormancy laws uh, kick in, so it has to be dormant, has to be in the drawer for at least a year before they can start docking you. And this applies, uh, Amy, not only to the Macy's cards and the Sears cards and the Best Buys, but also uh, the general gift cards that you All get right. from the visas and things like that. That is indeed good news. Nicole Lappin, thanks so much. We You're appreciate welcome. it.